Hello, welcome to Evening Prayer on this Tuesday, the 18th of January. Today our readings, beautiful readings. Of course, I believe we always have beautiful readings. Uh, but this morning we hear about Solomon being sent to Jesse to anoint one of his sons as king. And Jesse presents most of his sons to Solomon, but none of them are the ones that God is looking for. And then Solomon asked Jesse, are these all your sons? He said, well, there's one more, the youngest. He's out tending the sheep. And uh, Solomon said, send for him. So they did, and this young man, David, uh, came, and uh, God uh, uh, illuminated Solomon to know that this was the one that he is to anoint. Uh, and uh, we hear in the reading that, uh, you know, some of the other sons Solomon was looking at and thought they looked like this is the one. But God said, do not judge by just the appearance. You know, that's something we are good at, all of us. So we, we look at something or someone, and what our eyes see is uh, what we like or don't like about a person. But uh, we uh, we hear that God sees us in a different way. God sees our heart, knows our heart, and I think for all of us, we can we can do likewise just by getting to know someone, uh, not judging them at first blush or uh, by what they look like, but getting to know them, getting to understand their heart a little bit, and then. We, we have a better idea of what kind of person we're, we're uh, dealing with, who we're, who we're uh, getting to know. So we need to uh, not be the judge, uh, but to uh, just let God do that. And uh, we need to uh, go a little deeper than just appearances. Our gospel story today... Uh, Jesus once again lights into the Pharisees as he and his uh, uh, he and his uh, disciples are walking through a field of wheat on the Sabbath day. They're hungry, so they start gathering some of the grains and nibbling on them as they go. And the Pharisees said, "This is work. This is the Sabbath. You're not to do that." Jesus tells them, I am the Lord of the Sabbath and uh, reminds them that uh, uh, doing what's necessary on any day is okay. Uh, in another part of this scripture, we, we hear Jesus ask them, if your animal fell into a cistern, would you not on the Sabbath help them out? Uh, of course they would. You don't leave them there till the next day. Um, so it's this, this thing about honoring the Sabbath and the letter of that law that they were going by is not the spirit of that law. And Jesus lets them know that he is the Lord of the Sabbath. Serving him in any good thing we do is honoring the Sabbath day. Let us pray our evening prayer together and ask God to give us discernment and not judgment and also to uh, help us to honor him every day. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. You cannot serve both God and mammon. Hear this, all you peoples. Give heed, all who dwell in the world. Men both high and low, rich and poor alike. My lips will speak words of wisdom. My heart is full of insight. I will turn my mind to a parable with the harp. I will solve my problem. Why should I fear in evil days the malice of the foes who surround me? men who trust in their wealth and boast of the vastness of their riches. For no man could buy his own ransom, 
or pay a price to God for his life. The ransom of his soul is beyond him. He cannot buy life without end, nor avoid coming to the grave. He knows that wise men and fools must both perish and must leave their wealth to others. Their graves are their homes forever, their dwelling place from age to age. Though their names spread wide through the land, in his riches man lacks wisdom. He is like the beasts that are destroyed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. You cannot serve both God and mammon. Store up for yourselves treasures in heaven, says the Lord. This is the lot of those who trust in themselves, who have others at their beck and call. Like sheep they are driven to the grave, where death shall be their shepherd and the just shall become their rulers. With the morning their outward show vanishes, and the grave becomes their home. But God will ransom me from death and take my soul to himself. Then do not fear when a man grows rich, when the glory of his house increases. He takes nothing with him when he dies. His glory does not follow him below. Though he flattered himself while he lived, men will praise me for all my success. Yet he will go to join his fathers and will never see the light any more in his riches. Man lacks wisdom. He is like the beasts that are destroyed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Make our mouths speak your wisdom, Lord Jesus, and help us to remember that you became man and redeemed us from death, that we might merit the beauty of your light. Store up for yourselves treasures in heaven, says the Lord. Adoration and glory belong by right to the Lamb who was slain. O Lord our God, you are worthy to receive glory and honor and power. For you have created all things. By your will they came to be and were made. Worthy are you, O Lord, to receive the scroll and break open its seals. For you were slain, with your blood you purchased for God men of every race and tongue, of every people and nation. You made of them a kingdom and priests to serve our God, and they shall reign on earth. Worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive power and riches, wisdom and strength, honor and glory and praise. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Adoration and glory belong by right to the Lamb who was slain. A reading from Paul's letter to the Romans. All men have sinned and are deprived of the glory of God. All men are now undeservedly justified by the gift of God, through the redemption wrought in Christ Jesus. Through his blood, God made him the means of expiation for all who believe. He did so to manifest his own justice. I shall know the fullness of joy when I see your face, O Lord. I shall know the fullness of joy when I see your face, O Lord. Fulfillment and endless peace in your presence when I see your face, O Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. I shall know the fullness of joy when I see your face, O Lord. Do great things for us, O Lord, for you are mighty and holy is your name. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. For he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. 
He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Do great things for us, O Lord, for you are mighty and holy is your name. Let us praise Christ, the shepherd and guardian of our souls, who loves and protects his people. Placing our hope in him, we cry out, protect your people, Lord. Eternal shepherd, protect our Bishop Gregory John, and all the shepherds of your church, protect your people, Lord. Look kindly on those who suffer persecution. Hasten to free them from all adversity. Protect your people, Lord. Have mercy on the needy, Lord. Provide food for the hungry. Protect your people, Lord. Enlighten all legislators to enact laws in the spirit of wisdom and justice. Protect your people, Lord. Come to the aid of our departed brothers and sisters, whom you have redeemed with your blood. Make them worthy to enter your wedding feast. Protect your people, Lord. Remember us, Lord, when you come to your kingdom, and teach us how to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Father, yours is the morning, and yours is the evening. Let the Son of Justice, Jesus Christ, shine forever in our hearts and draw us to that light where you live in radiant glory we ask this through our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the holy spirit god forever and ever amen may the lord bless us protect us from all evil and bring us to everlasting life amen and may almighty god bless you all Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a great night, everyone, and uh, see you tomorrow. <laughs>